Deep breath. That's an example of a true one-star health service. And today, I'll be reviewing five of the lowest rated health services, including a one-star haircut, a one-star restaurant, and I'll even be going to a one-star chiropractor. I'm putting myself through all of this to see if these horrible reviews are true or totally false. Starting with our first establishment, the massage parlor. Now, massages are great for you. They decrease muscle stiffness and help your immune system work, except this place's reviews claim quite the opposite. And if you don't believe me, I have a bunch of real reviews written by real people on the internet. I'm gonna read them and see what they're saying about this place. Our first review comes from someone by the name of Al Ponze. He says, do not waste your time. The lady burped and coughed <laughs> in my face with no mask. The actual <laughs> massage was more, <laughs> this is not a real review, dude. The actual massage was just <laughs> Time. The actual massage was more of just her punching me randomly. Our next review is from Pebbles G. She says, this place tried to hold me against my will. Had to come home and ice my beating I got from them. And then she sh <laughs> and then she posts a photo of her with a literal ice pack on her neck. Bro, I'm gonna die in here. Absolutely terrible. All they did was fill up a trash can with water and put my toes into it. My feet couldn't fit in the tiny little trash can. It felt like I got my toes sucked here. She had the audacity to yell at me for a bigger tip when I was finally released from the torture chamber. I'm scared for my life. Let's go get a massage. <laughs> and so I regretfully walked up to the massage parlor. Bro, I'm like tripping. Nevertheless, I was prepared to see if these reviews were actually true. Oh, I just had a massage appointment. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Hold on, pop her. Yeah, can I have candy? Uh, okay. And so after grabbing some candy, they had us sit down for about 15 oh. minutes, and finally I was ready for my massage. I'm terrified. So I lay down, and the first thing they do is bring out a trash can. And like expected, my feet were completely cramped in there, and it was just really uncomfortable. I laid like this for 15 minutes, and then finally the actual massage lady came in. I don't think I ordered a face massage, but that's what she started doing. And then she started massaging my feet. I'm just gonna say it, it did kind of feel like I was getting my toes sucked. And then, just like the reviews, she started kind of punching my leg. It kind of felt good though, I'm not gonna lie. And then after about 20 minutes, the massage came to an end. All I had to do now was pay. As I was checking out, this lady told me I have to leave a tip no matter what. I was gonna leave a tip anyways, and I did, but I thought that was weird. Just finished up with the massage. I'm gonna give my formal review. I'm not gonna over-exaggerate these places and make them better or worse than they actually are. I'm just gonna be 100% honest. And now the only question that remains is were these reviews true or false? I told you guys I'm gonna be 100% honest here, and I have to say that they were true. And I'm gonna have to give this place two out of five stars, but I'm really hoping that the next place is a whole lot better. Although I think that's highly unlikely because these next places have some of the worst reviews I've ever seen. And I'm putting a whole lot of risk on this next one. And you'll see what I mean by that in just a second. We're pulling up to the next location. Uh, things are not looking good for me. We just made it to our next establishment. Uh, it's a barber. <laughs> Oh, I'm putting everything on the line for you guys. Haircuts are important. You don't want an itchy scalp and you look good. You feel good. You know what I mean? I don't even know what to say, guys. These are the worst reviews I've ever seen for an establishment. I told them fade halfway up and they just shaved everything up to the top of my head. <laughs> the lady doesn't know how to cut hair. I look like a yellow pencil straight up on the sides and the top and the top is the eraser part. I would have had better luck using a schnitzel. <laughs> My head looks like it was run over with a lawnmower. It's time to go get a haircut. Uh, I have an appointment. Have a seat. We're gonna be right with you shortly. <sighs> so I sat down and anxiously waited for 15 long minutes. And finally, it was time to see if these reviews were actually true. All right. So how can I help you get that? Something just simple, maybe just like a overall trim. Do you ever get people that are like, oh, we don't like it? Yes. Does that happen often? No. I remember, it's the communication thing. If I packed your hair, would you be happy? No. And I get it, you know? Look at that. Geraldine, you killed it. You're amazing. All right, guys. Haircut acquired. Here's what I'm gonna say. The lady that cut my hair, Geraldine, was an absolute sweetheart. She did great on the haircut. I think I look super handsome. <laughs> Reassure me in the comments below. With that being said, I'm gonna say that these reviews were totally false. This place was awesome 
and I'm gonna give it five out of five stars. We gotta get to our next location. So because the haircut wasn't bad at all, we gotta take things up a couple notches. So for the next one, I'm risking getting seriously sick. We made it to our last destination for today. It's a Mexican restaurant. What you put in your body is extremely important for your health. These reviews aren't telling me that this is the healthiest place to eat. I'm gonna read a couple off for you. The chicken was dry, too spicy, and tasted like cardboard. The chicken also smelled rotten. Never go there. Worst customer service. The food comes with sm <laughs> the food comes with small hair and bugs. Here's some photos. <laughs> Bruh. Ordered a chicken burrito and I had to run to the toilet. Then two days later, came to find out I had food poisoning and was in the hospital. I'm gonna go risk getting food poisoning. I do this for you guys. I love making these videos. We're trying to hit a million subscribers on this YouTube channel. I've seen the community we built so far. I know we can do it. Let's see if this place is as bad as it seems. The first thing I noticed when I entered this restaurant was the decorations. They had a claw machine, a Christmas basket, and even a walker. After examining the menu, I decided on a chicken burrito. And after only two minutes, my food was ready. Have a good day. Bag secured. We got the food. I got a chicken burrito. So we're gonna see if there's a hair in here or if the chicken's just rotten. <laughs> As I was saying that, it's dripping with oil. I'm not gonna let that take away from it though. I'm like actually kind of nervous for this one. Let's give it a shot. It's so gross. Oh my God, it's spicy, dude. It's so nasty. Dude, I wanted to give him a good review too. The chicken's gross. It's kind of sour, to be honest. <laughs> I'm actually gonna have my cameraman, Owen, try this burrito. Dude, this thing looks disgusting off the bat, bro. <laughs> That's spicy. I usually like every single food I try, but Sprito is not good. Wow. And so the question is, were the reviews true or false? I'm gonna have to say that they were totally true. <laughs> and I'm gonna rate this place one out of five stars. <laughs> Sorry, not sorry. Tomorrow we have some crazy stuff planned. I'm going to a chiropractor. I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning. Got a big day today, so. Okay. So we hopped in the car and just 10 minutes later, we were at our destination. We're here at a nail salon. I think you'd be surprised on the health benefits of a manicure. They improve blood circulation and strengthen your muscles. I had no idea that was a thing. You guys know the drill. I'm gonna read off some reviews and see what people are saying about this place. Amanda S says, they didn't do the correct colors we asked for and cut every single one of us badly. They were so rude that I wanted to leave as soon as possible. I don't know about this place. <laughs> Worst manicure I've ever had. I'm getting a manicure. <laughs> they make my fingers or toes bleed every time I'm in there. Cut my toenails so short that it hurt. She just took the cuticle cutters and cut the corner deep. These photos are horrendous. <laughs> Holy, trust me when I say this, do not go to this salon. I'm gonna go in there and see what this place is all about. Hi, I have an appointment for a manicure. Like a manicure, right? Just a manicure, yeah. What was that? Your nail is soft. What happened? <laughs> No, you good. So oh, don't try or don't cut. How does it feel, Jack? Feels good. Ooh. Have you watched Mr. Beast? Mr. Beast. Three, two, one. Oh, this is better than the massage I got. Oh, right. Ooh. I've never seen my nails look this good in my life. Yeah. Thank you so much. I, dude, I only have positive things to say. She didn't hurt me whatsoever. The lady was insanely sweet. My nails look insanely good. I don't have anything negative to say about this place. And so I'm concluding that these reviews are totally false. This was a very enjoyable experience. And for that, I'm gonna give it five stars. I'm gonna go get my back destroyed now cause I'm going to a chiropractor. Let's go. So because I haven't suffered enough, we hopped in the car for two hours and finally arrived to the chiropractor. We're at the last location. It's the chiropractor. This is the one that I've been the most terrified about the entire video. I'm gonna go ahead and read these reviews. Ricardo says, went in to get my neck adjusted and lower back. They nearly killed me. <laughs> Zoe says, by the way, that's a great profile picture. I'm gonna put that one up right here. She's slaying like a queen. Delete that. The doctor seemed annoyed and exhausted by my presence. He told me I'm better off taking Adderall. Now I'm crying in my car. That sounds like a horrible experience, Zoe. My condolences go to you. They don't take any x-rays. They just crack you and send you off, making you feel worse. Do not go here. Let's go do irreversible damage to my body. So we walk in there and immediately the vibes are just off. Everyone there kind of felt mad and annoyed with us. I sat down and nervously waited for 15 minutes. And finally, my appointment was ready. All right, so now um, go ahead and go face down. Okay. Very stiff and up here too. Mm -hmm. 
Wow. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started, okay? We're yeah. gonna get some pops. You might okay. get a little sore later, okay? And then my buddy Owen got kicked out for filming. After he left, she proceeded to destroy my neck. It hurt really bad. Anyways, here's what I felt like afterwards. I need to sit down. I'm not even kidding, I need to sit down. My back is in such gnarly pain. I'm not even trying to be funny, dude. Oh, the camera cut off, but when you left, I was getting cracked left and right. The staff there, rudest, rudest, meanest staff ever. So as you can imagine, I'm gonna say that this place's reviews are totally true. My neck still hurts and that was not fun at all. So I'm giving this place one out of five stars. But if I've learned anything from this entire experience, it's that you should never judge a book by its cover. You never know, that one star establishment might just end up being a hidden gem. And if I was given the opportunity to to go back and do this whole thing again from the start, I wouldn't. <laughs> I'm never doing that again. That was a horrible experience, so. Stop playing yeah. with them, Brian. And I'm bad like the Barbie. I'm a doll, but I still wanna party. Pink felt like I'm ready to bend. I'm a 10, so I pull in a can.